Watson. Well, put to a general at arm. We can't hold this. Call out every available brigade in the area and hurry. Right, sir. Yes, what's that? Oh, fresh orders. Oh, wait a minute, I'll take them down. 
Yes, what is it? Half a pound of demerara, yes. Pound of streaky bacon, yes. What the... Whoa, 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 Percy! Uh, all right, sir, come in right away, sir! Right, all right! Hey, how many times have I told you to fix that board? I haven't any more street. What are you making it out for? Ready, number two? All right, sir. Ready, number three? Yes, all right, stop me! <laughs> the way we came. Charlie. Yeah. Get a picture. This will make a great story. Okay, I'll go and get a plate. Hey, hey, about that fire. You better read about it. And don't go away. Oil factory blades. Flames 90 feet high. 50 fire brigades take all night to quell. Oh, he's right. That put it out. Oh, we better go out then. Well, it seems a pity after coming all this way, doesn't it? Hmm? Hey, look in this stock press. Maybe there's a little bit still burning. Yeah. Oh, there's another fire. Huh? Town hall ablaze. Did you say what town hall? Yes, yeah, ours. Good. Yeah. Hey? Fix it, what a town hall of blade. Hey, we better go back at once. Come on, all hands to take Percy's papers away. I'm going to ring the bell. Hey, you. Ring up, Mrs. Watt. Tell him we're on the way and keep it going till we get back. Wait a minute. Yes. Okay. Go on. <laughs> The engine that never got there. They are with the laughing stock of the whole country. Look. Our own town hall burnt under our noses. Thanks to this trio of blundering incompetence. This for Mayor. During the past six months, 17 of our valuable properties have been destroyed by fire. And what is more, there is no record of any of them having been put out. <coughs> Objection. <coughs> if they hadn't been put out, they'd still be burning, wouldn't they? That remark is out of order. Oh, uh, just a moment, please. I see there's one here that was put out. Oh, was it? Which one was that? A beach farm on the night of October the 1st. Beach farm? Beach farm? That's right. Don't you remember it came on the right? Uh, <coughs> yes, it's quite right. Beach farm. Even so, they still leave 16 properties destroyed by fire. To say nothing of the town hall. This wasn't our fault. We were at another fire. Exactly. We can't put out two fires at once, can we? No, we've only got one square there. But you can put out either fire, sir. <laughs> that the mark's out of order. Oh, no, it isn't. Yeah. Oh, is it? No. It's just my one. Anyway, it's in very bad taste. And how do you expect us to be efficient when you never give us any money for equipment? We gave you 20 pounds for equipment um, last June. Yeah. For equipment? Oh, dummy, I thought that was a bonus. Uh, June? No wonder we went to Black Yes. Yeah. Makes you think, dummy. Yeah. I propose to sack the lot of them and save the town a hate me rate. There you are. I hate me, Rake. I mean, what sort of farm do you expect to get for two a penny? Fifty measly quid a year to keep three men and a horse, and you're fitting the sacrifice because we can't put out two fires at once. I demand a vote. Yes. Yes. One yes. moment, gentlemen, please. I think there is something in what Captain Viking says. Yes. I think we might give him one more chance. You're wasting your time, yes. sir. Oh, no, he's not, sir. It'll mean, Viking, that we shall draw the next fire as a test case. Quite, sir. We shall expect you to reach it at once and to put it out immediately. You can consider it out now, sir. <coughs> In the meantime, I would suggest you take a trip to London to study their latest firefighting methods. Go to London? London can't teach me anything. Why, with my invention, I, I can... I think it would be a very good idea, Captain Viking. Oh, well, if you insist. <laughs> what day should we make it? Yeah, I can send it. We can see the cup as well. Yeah, shut up. 
Um, let me see now. Uh, uh, what about Saturday? I think that might be arranged. Oh, good. I shall want some money for three first-class tickets. Very good. Yes, and see that you buy them this time. Not one first and two platform tickets like the last time. That wasn't my fault. The booking club made a mistake. I asked for three platform tickets. <coughs> Five again. Forward. Purpose of the plan. Now, this is the latest LPC type Leyland Oh, Leyland Good hours as much earlier possible, although the uh, principles are the same. Yes. How high can you squirt? I beg your pardon? How high can you squirt? Uh, he means uh, to what altitude can you project a jet of water? No, I don't. I mean, how high can you squirt? Under full pressure, this engine is capable of pumping 900 gallons per minute. Ah, 900, eh? Ah, that's not bad. Of course, that's just a few more gallons than our engine pumps. Yeah, nearly 900 more. I, uh, I suppose, um, uh, what's the name, to make quite a bit of money out of inventing a thing like this? Well, they seem to do very well out of it. Ah. <clears throat> yes, I say, uh, uh, supposing a man invented a preparation that will put out a big fire, uh, like that one at Lake's Cross, say, in 15 minutes. Oh, he'd make a fortune. Oh. Well, you know someone who's done it. Uh, but I know someone who thinks he has. We have done it in 26. 26? Well, I know it was well under the half hour. Did you mean to say it takes you 26 minutes to turn up? Well, you must remember we're not mechanized. So we've got a horse, and sometimes it takes us quarter of an hour to find it. I see. Well, I suggest the sooner you bring your brigade up to date, the better. We two met you, Mr. Uh, Viking. Mr. Viking. Viking. Right. 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 Up to date. Who do you think he is? He's only a fireman the same as us. London Swank? Uh, you wait till we're mechanized. Hey, you mean to say we're going to have control boards and poles the same as this? Exactly. Oh, well, then it's a good job I'm not this off. Look. <laughs> Can't I take you anywhere without you knocking something off? Hey, have you knocked up anything, too? Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I mean, it'll be the mouse. I, I'm not going to be a party to it. Well, what do you want us to do? Put it all back again? Certainly not. I think we've nothing but a lot of feet. Well, make up your mind. What do you want us to do with it? Get out of it before they miss it. Go on, get out. Get out. <laughs> Well, this end's thick and the other end's thin, you see. We're trying to put the thick end up. Oh, 
Oh, what difference does that make? Well, the difference of anything standing on its thin end. Stalk still. <laughs> and stalk stand on their thin end. Yeah. What are you talking about? Thin end? Now, but you'll get one on your big end in a minute. Well, come on, help me put it in. Right. We'll have to take it out in the street and, and bring it in the other way around. I am. What the devil do you mean by smashing my window? Listen, it's entirely your own fault. Don't you know it's illegal to park outside a fire station? I love you, Simmons. Police! Police! Oh, Help! All right, all right. There's no need to be truculent. It's an accident. It doesn't happen to anybody. Harbottle, come out here. I didn't do it. Never mind who did it. Help me get it out. Yes, I can. Help me. 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 Help this gentleman was here before you. Yes. Well, it's no use taking it back again, they'll be quicker to push it through. Push it where you like, but get it out of here. It's kind of don't we? Now, gentlemen, love it. Ready, he. Yes, mind the gentleman's chin. If you don't stop, we'll go away and leave it here. Now, come on, do me. He. 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 I say. What? Do you know you're holding all the traffic up? Go away, no, we're holding it. Go away and play with it. Get out of it. Oh, come on, heave and now but you push. Come on. Now, it's no harder than that. Come on. Heave. 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 Get away from me. Hey, hey, let's go, you old fool. Will you tell me to heave? Yeah, but you'll be one heaving front all the time. No, no. I can't. What is it now? Uh, what are you trying to do? We're trying to turn our pole around. Oh, uh, with what object? Will you push off? Are you going to get this thing out of my car or not? Oh, that's all right. We're doing our best, aren't we? You know you are defeating your own purpose. Huh? I have it here. According to Proposition 5 of the Second Book of Euclid, if the straight line is divided equally and also unequally, the rectangle contained by the unequal parts and the square on the line between the points of section are together equal to the square on half the line. Yes. Well, what's that going to do with me? Well, assuming the street to be the rectangle, by withdrawing the straight line, i.e. the pole, within the point of section, i.e. the china shop, the traffic may proceed. Q-E-D. Uh, well, shall I tell you something? Yes. You can proceed. Come on, let's get this thing simple. All right, all right. It's perfectly simple. All we've got to do is to take it in the china shop and let the traffic proceed. You stay here, I'll but come with me. Oh, now, you go inside and steer the other end. Okay. Cut out the way. Hey, hey, what are you doing there for? I've got to get through, haven't I? Oh, uh, ready, Hobbottle? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Please. What's going on here? And what are you doing? I'm holding the end of this boat. What's that to the service? I said wash it, not smash it. Father? No, this ends against the wall. But if you slew your end round a bit, I might get it through that door. How about you? Shove your end round to your left a bit. Right. You know what you talking about, people? Take my phone, tell him the other end. Hey, you're making that noise. You'd really better come and do it. I think. It says here that if two circles touch one another externally, the straight line which joins their centers will pass through the point of contact. Yes, well, we've just done that. Oh, yes, I'm aware of that. But going to the prescribed limits of the rectangle, i.e., the feet being less than the inordinate length of the straight line, i.e., the pole, you're attempting to turn the greater into the left, which is absurd. The pole should be elevated to the perpendicular. Q.E.D. I'll do him. Certainly not. I'll do it myself. Get out of it! Get out of it! Hello, yeah, it's permanent simple. All we're going to do is to elevate the pole to the perpendicular. How about you? Come here. You can't take it into the pole and raise it as high as you can. Okay. You can't get away with this. I told you before, take my book. I will get inside my dog. Well, help it.
at all. That's not your stomach. That is your abdomen. Your stomach is up here. Look, 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 look. Wait a minute. Now, what's going on here? No, I've got an abdomen in my stomach. Well, it's not complete. Now, without keeping the door. Oh, yes, it has. Increase the angle of the base by raising the apex of the hypotenuse, i.e., by leaving out of that window and dislodging the far extremity of the pole, QED. QED. I'll give you an SOC telling you, i.e., if you don't be out. Oh, E.G. Albert, get up. You're not going to see if you can shift it. Yeah, I'll shift it. Now, what's going on here? 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 Now, Oh, oh, dear. Dear. Oh, oh, dear. Dear. Oh, oh, good morning, Mr. Punk. That's the phone. Never mind, my phone. What's all that round about? My doctor ought to be quiet. Oh, we're having a bit of bother with that phone. First thing I've accepted. Can you come over a bit? Oh, 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 I've got to mind this book. All right, I'll come up. Oh, well, it won't be long now. The governor's coming up. He'll see that nothing goes right. I won't have people. Don't get into my roof. You get out, too. Oh, Mr. Tonks, how's your foot? Got a blanket over here. I've been ordered peace and quiet. Sandy, nothing like it. Oh, get out of my way. Don't get into my roof. Don't get into my roof. Oh, I'll be stuck. Well, all you're going to do is to use your wits at all. Ah, here we are. Hey, you want all the bed? Move over. 
pole now in the first place, we wouldn't have had all those arguments with the insurance company. I still think it's a waste of time. Listen, my lad, if it's good enough for those swank pots in London, it's good enough for us. Yes, trying a bit of ivy up it to look every tonight. Ivy? What do you think we're making, a grotto? Yes. Go on, Albert, up you go and slide down it. What, me? Well, somebody's got to test it. Well, you test it, it's your pole. No, all right, all right, I'm not afraid of sliding down a pole. Mm, I don't wonder, you've been up one for years. <laughs> get out of it, go on, get on with your dusting. Have you sandpapered that? Oh, yes, ever so smooth. Ah, right. Well, stand well back, because I might make a fast landing. Hey, is that a nail? No. Screw. Do you mean to tell me you're going to let me slide down onto that? Well, the bird is near the bottom. Yes, <clears throat> that's just what I mean. Well, take it out immediately. Hey, you smell something burning? Hey, how about it? Get your water quick. The stove's on fire. <coughs> oh, oh, get it in the stove burning. It's now ready fire. Well, get the fire extinguisher quick. Oh. Yes, that is fast. <laughs>
our furnace up on the front page of any newspaper in the country. Oh, like Garbo and Guinness. Uh, Garbo and Guinness. Some of that's all you think about, women and wine. <laughs> Why, Captain N? Uh, oh, well, that depends. I mean, uh, you haven't come on behalf of someone, have you? As a matter of fact, we have. Uh, oh, well, I'm afraid he won't see you. No, we haven't come with a red buddy. We've got a swell proposition for him. Oh, well, in that case, I am the captain. How are you? Cut the clowning and get the captain, will you? Oh, but I am the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Why, don't you believe me? Albert, Albert, Lou. come here. Hey, tell these gentlemen what I am. What, out loud? Yes, yeah. Hey, hey, no funny gags. Am I, am I not the fire captain? Oh, that. Yes, he is the captain at the moment. Well, I'm glad to know you, Captain. Well, we're from the Gorms for a picture corporation. Oh. Uh, well, we don't want to buy any pictures. We've got one upstairs. You don't understand. We make films, movies, pictures. Oh, I'd like to go on a picture. Yeah. What, well, I stand in for the Seven Dwarfs? Yes, yeah. hmm. We're not wanting any actors as yet. We're making an historical picture called The Conquest of Fire. And oh, I see. Sort of a blazes through the eight. Exactly. And we want your fire engine. Yeah. You want what? We want your fire engine. We'll give you a good price for it. Certainly not. We'll make it worth your while. I'll bet you would. Well, the idea is preposterous. You might as well go to some packing station and ask for a couple of platforms. Okay, if you can <laughs> afford to turn down real money. Oh, oh well, uh, uh, how long would you want it for? Oh, just a few hours. Yes, but suppose the fire alarm went while it was away. Huh. We can easily stop that. Ow. Put a stock in it. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, you see, it's... Um, it's worth 20 pounds, sir. Well, uh, there are a lot of other film companies after our engine, too, you know. Uh, all right. 30 pounds, then. That's better. And now, and the balance when we take the engine. It's the deal. Uh. Uh, I suppose we couldn't have the balance now and the other 10 when you take the engine. I can see you're a businessman. All right. 10 pounds more. Can I have a receipt for it? Blimey, you can have the station for it. Hey, you speak when you're spoken to. Give me a piece of paper. How would you like the receipt worded? Mm, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Received on account, 20 pounds. P.S. <coughs> 10 pounds to come. There you are. Well, you better keep ringing me up every morning to see when you can have it. When we can have it? Yes. But we want it for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, no, that's impossible. No, I've got a very important demonstration to do first. Why are you double-crossing it? Uh, when did you figure on us having it? Well, let me see. Today's Monday. Now, if they test my formula on Wednesday, you can have it on Thursday. Or till late Friday. Well, if that's the way it is, Cap, I guess that'll have to do. I'll phone you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Come on, divvy up. I want my ten quid. Uh, your ten quid? Oh, I like that. Three in the thirty, that's ten quid each. Come on, cough up. I'll do nothing of the kind. Sorry, I haven't got thirty quid. I've only got 20. No, you've only got 10. That makes us square. Well, would you believe it? Here, tell you, Joe. Here, look here, come here. You'll have to wait till those gentlemen have paid the balance. Well, when will that be? Just as soon as they've tested my formula in London. Yes, but that might not be for months and months and months. Well, look at the interest you'll get. Well, well, what interest? Well, the interest looking forward to your money, you see. Yes. What I want to know is... Never mind, Adam. Let's get on with your sweeping. Yes, yes, that's all I do. Get on with your sweeping. Always oh, pick on me. Anybody think I was a boy? I'm older than them two put together. Who always gets the worst of it here? Me. Who always has to drink out of the crack cup? Me. Who gets no fried bread in the morning? Me. Why don't you stand up for yourself? No use. They wouldn't listen to me. They wouldn't listen to me. I'm just a... Oh, a little old oh, Cinderella. <laughs> well, we wasted six months trying to figure that out before. That'll be Hank. Open the gates. I tell you, it's the craziest stunt I've ever heard of. You said that about the bullion job at Hest. Yeah, but bullion and crown jewels are two different things. It's impossible, Chief. To start with, there's no way of getting in the tower. That's just it. There was no way, but I... Did you get it? As good as. There's just a little matter of when we collect it. Great. 
We told them we wanted it for a movie. <laughs> and they swallowed it. Sure, you never saw three goofier guys. Did you get a good look at the engine? It's identical. Where's the book? The only difference is theirs has shafts and the tar engine has hand gear. We'll soon fix that. Show them to Daring here. He still believes we can't do it. I still don't see. Now, this, in the case of a fire in the tar, this engine is allowed to go in and out without question. And 20 minutes is all we want. Underweight and a half of soap, 14 gallons of K2SO4. Yes, hand me up another dozen. Thank you. Oh, you know, this would have been cheaper. We'd have bought it by the barrel. Oh, don't talk nonsense. Something's back on every bottle. Look at all those empties. Good as money in the bank. Six, eight, ten. Oh, that reminds me. What about my tether? It's Friday now. I can do with a bit on account. You, you'll get tons on account if you don't shut up. What I want to know is, do I get my tether by Saturday or don't I? You don't. Oh, all right. Then I hope the invention don't work, see? Cool, there's a friend for you. Putting a curse on it for a measly tenner. Hey, put that down. If I can't get paid one way, I'll take it another for there. You'll get up there and cut some soap. Go on. The knife's on top. Hurry up. Cut soap. Soap. All I seem to do is... Cut. I'll slice it up quickly. I don't make the lumps too big. And if this knife slips, I'll cut me throat. Well, if you do, lean back and don't muck up my formula. Hey, it's any full. Is it? Good. Well, that's that. Uh, now we're going to have some practice with my new turnout apparatus. Turnout apparatus. <laughs> Just a lot of junk. Junk? You ever fell into my patent harness, Clopper? It's more like a poor bread the shop to me. Uh, listen, I'm fed up with you two, Grumbling. You're going to use that gear and like it. We'll have a practice turnout now. What, now? They'll be open in ten minutes. Well, let me, the only turnout you understand is time, gentlemen, please. Go on, follow me. Well, here we are. Now then. I turn the wheel, the horse box opener, and at the same time, I pull these chains, you see? And the walloper in the stable slaps the horse sparkly on the, uh, uh, well, whichever way he's standing, and he comes out onto the turntable. I know, it says, who's been walloping my porridge? <laughs> oh, very funny, very funny. Yes, well, I said I was going to make an eye of for the day, and I've done it. Now, uh, I've been to the... Hey, hey, hey! Oh, no, you don't. You come back here. Come on. We're going to try this. Now, you ready? Go. The alarm rings. Down the pole, out with the horse, down with the turntable, down with the shaft, on with the harness, and out we go. They are seven and a half seconds. Mm. We made a smart getaway, didn't we? Yes. yes but we're still here. Well, of course we're still here. I'm just trying to explain it to you, thickhead. I mean, you know, I've been lying awake at night thinking how it could be done. Yes, and I've been lying awake at night thinking how I've been done. If you only let the picture blood out that engine, I'd have had my tenor for now. Now, listen, once and for all, that engine staying in my possession till I've had a chance of demonstrating my formula in London. Yes, sir, why wait for London? Why not have a fire here and tell London all about it? Oh, it don't, it? don't you understand? It's got to be a big fire. Something London's bound to hear about. Something that my invention can put out so quickly it'll be a sensation. There's nothing big enough here. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, I might never live to see a fire as big as that. Don't worry. You will where you're going in a few years' time. Oh, Oh, for me? Club who's to pay? Huh? Club who's to pay? What for? The stamps come off. Well, you don't expect me to pay for that, do you? I mean, I didn't stick it on. The club who's to pay, anyhow. Oh. Well, Albert? Got any money? I've got a ten pound note you can't have. Oh. Well, well, you better leave the letter. We'll uh, pay tomorrow. Against regulations. No money, no letter. Good evening. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That letter may be important. Well, it must have some change somewhere. Albert, turn out your pockets. Yeah, that's all I got. A penny. Right. Penny. Now, let's see. Well, there you are. There's a penny and there's an empty with tuppence on it. Give me the letter. I suppose it's all right. Of course it's all right. There's tuppence on it. It's legal tender. Well, we're very busy now. Good night, my man. Good night. Good night. Hey, where do you think you're going? I think the fire. What fire? Fire at the petrol station. What petrol station? Never mind about the argument. Remember what the mayor said. This is a test. 
tight. Why did that bond put out or we are? Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, follow me. <laughs> Oh, she's out of 
It's now 11.33 exactly. The van will leave here in four minutes, so get along. Hey. They're locked. Uh, what do we do now? Let's ring the bell and ask for our engine back. Don't be silly, we can't do that. We don't know if the engine's there. We've only got Bertie's word for it. Let's get through a crack in the door. There ain't any crack. Yeah, I'll give you a bunk up, then you can climb over the top. Yeah. What, up there? Yeah. yeah. Well, suppose I sit on those spikes. Well, if you sit on them firmly, they won't hurt you. Yeah? Well, you try that. I'm going to try the wall. It's higher still here. Yeah, but there are no spikes. We'll never get over there. Oh, yes, we will. I'll bottle. Turn Percy around. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll get on the Percy's back, then you two climb up on my shoulders, you see? Come on. Come on. Oh, Percy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Right, oh, come on, let's make a start. I'll get up first, then you two get up onto my shoulders, and when you both get to the top, you pull me up after you. Give me a bunk up, come on. Here, here, here. How do we get Percy up? How do we get Percy up? What on earth do we want to get Percy up for? So we can get down the other side. Uh, all right, all right. I'll bring Percy up under my arm. Here, take my helmet. Wait a minute. I'm coming up there. Come on, Jerry, come on. I come. Right, now climb up onto my shoulders. All right, make your hand into a stick. Yes. What have I got to hang on with, the Well, that's how they do it in the circus. I suppose you'd like me to juggle a couple of other at the same time, would you? Go ahead, up you get, up you get. Keep still up there. Seems easy. Oh, don't tickle me. Oh, 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 oh. Take your foot off my ear. Oh. Unlock the gate. Okay, let's go. There's that dog on horse again. Come on, come on now, come on now. Get out of here. Come on, beat it. Come on, come on. Scram, get out of here. Go on, beat it, beat it. On your way. Oh. I thought you said you saw Percy galloping down the street. I said I heard the clatter of hoofs. Uh, your brain's rattling. That's what he was. Now we don't know where we are. Cool, look. Windsor Castle. Yeah, Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle's in Scotland. That's the Tower of London. Where the swear word tower is. No, that's in Blackpool. Oh, yeah, and I wish you were there with it, too. Oh, look. Look, it's perfect. Oh, hey, where did you come from? Oh, I told you I heard him. See, the engine can't be far away. Uh, didn't they say they were making an historical film? Yes. Well, better than they're filming in the tower. Oh. Follow me. Go on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, oh two goes there. Uh, uh, please don't match us in the horse. Grant's one and give the countersign. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go on, push over us. I'll call the guard out. Hop it, go on. Yeah, but... I'm sorry. I, I only wanted to ask if you... Uh, sorry, you there you are. I only want to ask if you knew if they were filming it. Now, what are you doing, the fan? No, excuse me. Uh, Pepe. Ha! Ah! Oh, I say, mister. Uh, right, all right. Wait. Ha! Ah! I, I don't interrupt your work. Mark time. Uh, you know, Tell me you want. Uh, could you tell me if they're filming in there? Well, then, yeah, ask him about our engine. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're looking for a fire engine like this. This is it, anyway. Of course I have. 
It's in the West Bastion. Hold that! Right? In the West Bastion. Well, did you hear what he said? I know he asked him a civil question. Well, he told you he means one of those round fault things in the West Corner. Oh, is that what he meant? Oh, I see. There you are. Car fire brigade. Hey, perhaps they know something about it. Yeah. Know hmm. something. Lummy, they've got it. Cool. Oh, is them knocking it off? Yes. Hey, anybody there? All right, boys, get her out and turn around. There's only a few seconds to go. Don't let him get away! 
Aren't you trying to get away with the crown jewel? We would have got away with them, too, if it hadn't have been for this muck. Hey, what is it, anyway? Oh, whatever it is, it seems to have made a pretty good job of you, fellas. Just what I was thinking. I'd like to meet the men responsible for this. 